So this question says, Jennifer bought a box of crunchy grain cereal. The nutrition facts on the box state that a serving size of the cereal is, or sorry, that a serving size of the cereal is three-fourths of a cup. So I'm going to write down three-fourths of a cup. That, so that's the serving size. And then we're told that it provides 210 calories. So I'll write that down as well. So this gives us 210 calories. 50 of which are calories from fat. Okay, so out of this 210, okay, so coming out of that, 50 fat calories. Okay. In addition, each serving of the cereal provides 180 milligrams of potassium. Okay, so not only do we have 210 calories, but we also have 180 milligrams of potassium. which is 5% of the daily allowance for adults. So this 180 milligrams is 5% of the daily allowance for adults at least. So question 18 asks us, it says, if P% percent of an adult's daily allowance of potassium is provided by X servings of crunchy grain cereal per day. So I'm going to just stop right there because I need to translate this. So translate word problem strategy is what I'm going to use here. So I need to convert these words into an equation. So the first thing I read here is if P percent. So on this test, and really in math in general, we're never really going to use a percentage as part of our mathematical equation we will always convert a percentage into its decimal form. For instance, 5% is the same as 0 0.05. I get that by dividing that 5 by 100, right? So that 5% divided by 100 gets me to 0 0.05 as the decimal form of that percent. So P percent will be equal to P over 100, okay? So if P percent of an adult's daily allowance of potassium, well, what's the daily allowance of potassium? We know it's 5%, right, per serving, right, because this three-fourths a cup is one serving. So it says uh, it's provided by X serving. So this P over 100 comes from or is equal to X servings. But we know that those X servings each have 0 0.05 or 5% of the daily allowance of potassium. So here is the connection between all the information we are provided with and then also a translation of the actual equation that results by reading this question. So I'll start from the beginning again. If P percent of an adult's daily allowance of potassium is provided by X servings of crunchy grain cereal per day, which of the following expresses P in terms of X? So if I want P in terms of X, that just means I want to isolate my P variable in this equation. So I can do that by getting rid of the 100 in the denominator under the P by multiplying both sides by 100. So I'm left with P equals, now 0 0.05 times 100 is just 5. I still have the X there, so P is equal to 5X, and therefore my answer is choice B.